Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech Automotive. This is part three of my videos around uh, relays. So stay tuned if you want to find out uh, how to test it. If you want to know a little bit more about the relays, uh, go back and watch some of the other videos. But in this one, I'm just going to talk about actually how to test uh, the relay if you're not sure if it's working. So in order to do that, um, you will need um, a multimeter. And in this example, I also use a square battery, uh, which is quite, quite useful. Um, so the first thing that ideally you probably want to do um, to test your relay, if you found something in your car and it's not working and you can't hear the relay clicking, then ideally you need to check first of all the uh, coil winding the primary side of the relay to see if this part of the relay circuit is working. Um, to do that with the relay itself, you can quite easily use a square battery. And effectively what I'm going to do is put a square battery over these two pins, which will power up this coil and then close the switch. So I can use a square battery on these two pins here. There we go. And you can see that that is working as it should do. Bear in mind, this is just a nine volt battery and obviously your car runs on 12 volts. So if this little square battery is strong enough to pull and hold that switch contacts closed, certainly 12 volts should be, okay? So that's one way to test that. Another test that you can do is do a resistance check over the coil of winding. So if that test fails, then you can do a resistance check to check to see if this uh, coil of winding here is intact. And to do that, you'd use your multimeter. I've set it up to ohms for resistance. And now I'm just gonna literally check across these two uh, pin terminals. So that's 86 and 85. And you can see there I'm reading 0 0.05 of an ohm, which is not a lot at all. I'd expect to see something um, because obviously there's a lot of coil of winding in there. So you will see a value, but a very small amount is perfect. So if I've just an example, I've just gone like that over those two pins. So those two pins there, just like that. Okay. So I know that coil of winding in there is okay and it's working fine. If I needed to test that then uh, in the car, um, ideally, I'll, I'll put a picture up in a moment actually, and you can get some relay jumper kits. So you'd put that into where your fuse board is or your relay board where your relay sits in the car. And then you plug your relay on top and it's got some pinouts and it just makes it really easy to actually check the voltages because trying to get to the back of one of these when it's plugged in the car is, is really difficult. Um, but effectively, if you want to check that um, in your car, what you do then is you'd put your black lead, I'll call it, or your negative on a good earth point. So battery earth there, for example. Then I'll be checking here at that eight pin 86. With that switch then closed, I'd want to see 12 volts on my multimeter, okay? Because that'd be your voltage then coming into here. With that switch still closed, I've got 12 volts there. I should then see zero volts on this side. If I'm measuring here and I haven't got 12 volts, then I need to trace this wire back until I find 12 volts. So you need to perhaps go back to this switch. Now just bear in mind that that switch here that I'm pointing at here could be uh, a control unit because um, it might be that you're pressing a switch somewhere in your car. That then goes to a control unit. Your control unit then powers this up. So you really do need to check your wiring diagrams um, before you start going down that route. If you're checking and you've got 12 volts here, uh, you want to check here and check to see you've got zero volts. Um, if you've got 12 volts coming back out of this side, then that will tell you you've got a problem on your earth side of the circuit. So you need to follow that earth wire back until you find um, the correct uh, voltage. Okay, so you want to see zero at some point. So it could be that you've got a break in that piece of wire. And again, I might mention one of the previous videos, this earth could be controlled by a control unit as well. So again, really check your wiring diagram. So that's looking at that primary side um, of the relay. Now we want to have a look at the secondary side, which is that switching circuit. So again, we can check that with the multimeter um, by again using resistance or ohms check. And what we want to do now is check to see on pin 30, so here, and then pin 87. So we'll use pin 87, so there. And we want to check when we press the switch. This is quite tricky to do this. Bear with me. If I press my switch. So I'm just pressing the switch closed. You can see it's then going to zero. Okay. So I know that those switched contacts 
are in good working order. Because what can happen, these can become pitted and worn out over a period of time. And that could be why your relay is not working. If those contact switches are not closing correctly and they're all corroded. Okay, so I know that that's working fine. So if I wanted to check that in the car, first thing I'd want to do, well, your easiest check probably is obviously, first of all, check you've got a good battery. After that, then it might be easiest to go straight to wherever it is your consumer is. Have you got any power coming down to that consumer when that is closed? What you can do, uh, you need to be really careful with this and use the fused uh, breaker wire is actually bridge that contact out. So you could potentially move your remove your relay um, from your relay board and then bridge the contacts between the two. Before you do that, though, I urge that you check to make sure the fuse is in, intact and you use a fused jumper um, wire in there. So you'd, you'd use a, a piece of wire effectively and jump across those two terminals. Um, which will close that switch check to see if your consumer works if that if it works then you know that that part of the circuit is okay if it doesn't work then you need to go back and check to see if you're getting a live supply down to here so you could easily do that by getting your multimeter putting that on your earth and then checking at that pin 30 or pin 3 have you got battery voltage at that point there if you haven't work your way back i'd like to think you'd already checked your fuse but again double check your fuse if your fuse is blown then it could be that there's a short to earth somewhere on the circuit here, which is causing that fuse to blow. So before you replace the fuse, check this piece of wire to check to make sure that it's not got a short to earth. If you've got your 12 volts here and this is working, it's switching and you've got nothing coming out the back here, then it's likely to be, a, as we said, a problem with that switch. So you'd want to do that um, uh, resistance check across that terminal to check to make sure that your, your points are not pitted. If you've got 12 volts coming out of here, then you need to check between here and here to make sure that that voltage is coming down to your consumer. So you'd check on your earth and then you check at your consumer to check for 12 volts there. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, as I said, check out those uh, relay jumper kits. Um, they're quite, quite good, easy to get hold of, um, and they are really useful for helping you check um, relay circuits. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and take care.